First game on the board. Thursday night football is going to Cincinnati. The Bengals are hosting the Jaguars, and the Bengals, Joe Burrow's bunch, are 7.5-point favorites. The total is 46 odds, brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins. Of course, you can click the link in the description to sign up with a big-time sign-up bonus. So go ahead and check that thing out. I um, The Bengals look like a pretty good football team right now. Their defense looks pretty good. Now, part of that might just have been how inept the Steelers were on offense. But Jamar Chase, he and Joe Burrow could win games by themselves, it feels like. They are... Seems Rolling. like he didn't have a problem catching the football, <laughs> right? And like in the preseason, I don't hear all... <laughs> any of it. I don't hear any of the sons of bitches in the NFL media writing any apology letters or coming out saying that they were wrong about trying to destroy this guy's career before he even started. <laughs> I don't know if they were trying to destroy his career. They were just reporting what they had seen and what they had heard. No, uh, no, no, no. They absolutely were not. He was asked a question. What is different about the footballs in college oh, yeah. and pro? Oh, okay. And he said one has a stripe on them and the other does not. And then they did a report that said he can't catch the football because it doesn't have a stripe. That is trying to take a guy down. That is trying to destroy a man's reputation before he even gets it going. I no, mean, what, no, that is nefarious at nature. That I would sue that person for defamation. That was uh, wasn't that Lombardi? Wasn't that Mike Lombardi? No, it, I don't think it was Mike Lombardi. I think Mike Lombardi shared it out because that's what a lot of other people do. One guy does a report that's shitty, and then everybody else who's lazy as fuck take that report, and then they just share it out as if it's a God's gospel, and then they comment on that, and all those people can kiss my ass. So Jamar Chase is looking fantastic right now <laughs> yeah. to get us Rookie back on the year, game. Right uh, now. The Jaguars do not look great right now. No. They they can get nothing done, and now they got to go on the road to Cincinnati on a short week after getting beat by the Cardinals at home. And there were promising things in that Cardinals game. Yeah, but uh, I, I still – I will tell you this. Trevor Lawrence finding it a little bit more difficult to be a quarterback in the NFL as opposed to uh, being a quarterback in college. I, I will say that because he has not looked no very good at all. He's made some really poor decisions. I'm rolling Bengals here. It, even even with the hook, I don't care. I think they win this game by double digits on a short week at home. Yeah, I don't I don't like the number with the hook, but I mean I guess if it, if you did if the hook wasn't there, everybody in the world would be betting the Bengals. So the hook's gonna make me bet the Bengals also. Um I I'm I, there's not a, I haven't seen a number yet that would say, no, let's go Jags. I do think at some point in time they're going to win a game. Okay, teams don't go winless in the NFL. We got an extra game to get a win in. One day these guys are going to find the W. I thought last week they were going to do it when they were up, and then they just pissed the game away. Anyway, you the Bengals, short, you Joe. Short week traveling. Look at total DVOA. Like Cincy is number eleven and Jacksonville is number thirty-one right now. Like that's just. That's not good. Cincinnati's defense has been the biggest thing here. Their defense is number four in defensive value over uh, over adjusted, like or over average. The offense and the defense here. Cincinnati's offense against Jacksonville's defense pretty pedestrian. Both of them. Uh, Jacksonville is number twenty seven on defense. Cincinnati number twenty five. But since he's defense, I just don't think that they're going to give anything up in this ball game, so I fully expect them to be able to cover. I think they'll win by double digits on Thursday night. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.